Hey, what's up guys? Mike here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, play an audio file in your app. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you're going to go into Xcode, do new project. And here we're going to select single view app. It's going to be called audio player and yes we want all that don't check any of these boxes there we go save it on the desktop all right so first step we're going to go ahead and set up the uh, the main storyboard if it'll load and uh, Okay, so all we really need is uh, just something to click for the music to play, make it very simple. Um, let's do maybe, there we go, the add button. And just to, you know, keep everything from screwing up, we're going to center it horizontally and vertically in the container. Show you guys what I'm doing here. Yeah. There we go. So there it is. And for this button, because I'm never satisfied with just a button, let's make it an image. And our image is going to be the step-by-step -step programming logo. that. No. I'm going to drag it into assets, which if you ever want to add an image, do it this way. Not adding a music file, which we will see later. And for this button, do step-by-step -step logo. And it's giant. Um, so now we're going to bring it in with 200 height. 200. So there we go. Beautiful button. Really handsome man right there. And <laughs> so next we're going to add AV Foundation to our view controller. And AV Foundation is uh, you know, audio video player adds that functionality to the view controller. It's already built into Swift, great, pretty easy to implement once once you do it a few times. And uh, so our next step is to create a variable for the audio player. I'm just going to call ours player. AV audio player. It's going to be an optional. And then next we're going to Instead of equals, make that a colon. There we go. Punctuation is important, everyone. And next we're going to add the music file. So here I have uh, this ukulele sound that I got off Ben Sound. So shout out to Ben Sound. Let me just uh, show you show you their website just so they can say I gave them credit. <laughs> so here you can find all kinds of you know little songs. And this ukulele thing, it kind of sounded like a, uh, you know, like something you'd hear in an insurance commercial or something. I like it, so we're going to go with that. <laughs> and uh, so just drag it into your app and put it in the audio player folder. And we want to copy the items, create folder references, and make sure this is checked. Press finish. And there it is. Now, with more than one music file, it's uh, you know it's recommended definitely to create a new group, which is just means a folder. I don't know why they couldn't call it a folder, but I'm gonna put music files, and especially if you have a lot of them. But I mean, I kind of like everything to be organized anyway, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And now in the view controller, 
we're going to create a function to play the music. And because uh, we might want to play the music uh, somewhere else later in the app, uh, I like to create a separate function that can be used over and over and over again. Uh, um, later we're going to create a uh, IB outlet from that button in the storyboard, but for right now let's just focus on playing the music. And so the first thing in the function is to let sound URL. So basically we're going we're gonna to target the URL by searching in the app. And bundle dot main dot URL. Now for the resource, uh, we just put the title and in quotes because it's a string. So bin sound ukulele. Made that mistake before. Don't ask why. <laughs> and for the extension, it's uh, MP3. So no, no dot. You know, just put then sound ukulele, MP3, or whatever sound that you want to use here in the extension of it. And um, now let's run the AV audio player. Contents of URL. And if you see right here, it says throws. Now that means that after we type in sound URL here, got that ready to go. But if we tried to run this, it wouldn't be allowed to run because it's possible that it can throw an error. See, and, and here's Xcode on cue telling us call can throw, but is not marked with try and the error is not handled. So in order to do that, going to need a do catch clause. And so we're going to do, and we're going to try to play the AV audio player. And then if it doesn't, the alternative is in the catch. And we're going to print error. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is if everything works, then it'll get down here. And we're going to go player, which is our AV audio player up here. And we're going to type play. And then we need to close it out. Player's going to play. Now, let's see what we got here. Oh, it's not playing. Why? Well, because we never called play music. And also, here we need to update the instance that we already have up here. Now, in order to create an outlet, we have to go back to the storyboard. Get them side by side here. Now, click control drag. We're going to play button pressed, and it's going to be an IB action. Touch up inside, everything is good there. And in there, we're going to play the music. Now let's run this. Video player would like that. That's a good sign. If you guys can't hear this uh, very cheerful music, here I'll try and get something. Yeah. Isn't that fantastic? All right. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so uh, one more thing I wanted to add. You know, when we click this button, 
the, the music starts playing and now it won't stop. So it is incessantly going on in my head the entire time we're recording this video. Uh, so in order to make it stop as quickly as possible, we're going to do it like this. That's going to be an if else statement. So we're going to say if player dot is playing, which you can see is a Boolean value that indicates whether the audio is playing true or not false. Pretty self-explanatory. And if that equals true, which means that it is in the middle of already playing something, we're going to player dot stop. And for the else clause, which is if it's doing anything else, we want it to play music because uh, that would logically mean that it's not playing at the moment and we want to play it or we wouldn't press the button. So let's start this over again. Get it running. Thank God the music stopped. And then click this. And it goes. Da, 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 da. If you guys downloaded the Ben Sound ukulele like I did, which is a fantastic song, by the way, guys. You guys are doing great. Um, then you would know how this feels. And we're going to press one more time. And it stopped. So, uh, yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh, yeah, leave me a comment or let me know what you want me to do next. And thanks for watching.